What's happening everyone? Welcome back. Back out again. Probably putting the effort in this week, aren't I? Um, we are beach fishing. Um, only got one rod set up at the minute. Uh, I say we, me and Michael West from Sea Globe Tackle are out. We are at Hive Beach, um, particularly Twist Road End. Um, there's the Imperial Hotel, which we call the Imperial Beach on the other side of them rocks, that breakwater there, where the uh, I don't even know what that's called. It's not wind surfing. It's not kite surfing. They've, I don't know. They've got some weird things they're holding. Hydrofoiling or something. It looks good though. Look, does look good fun. As long as they say that side the rocks, we're all good. Um, so tonight's plan of action is: uh, I'm my main target is a soul. Um, whether we get any or not, that is a different story. I'm also going to have a go at live baiting later on for a bass in close towards the rocks over there. Um, and I'm gonna, I don't know what method I'm gonna use yet. I don't know whether I'm gonna stick a bait out and let the whiting attach itself to that and then wait for the bass to come and take the whiting or if I'm just gonna stick a lead out and slide a live bait down. Um, presuming obviously I catch a live bait, I'm pretty certain there'll be a few whiting about. Um, so I'm gonna have to contend with them, probably some dogfish. I've got some bluey as well. Mike said he wanted to have a go for a ray. So there's been a few rays down this way. So he's gonna have a go for them. Um, bait wise all I bought is blueies and some absolutely beautiful black lug worm I've just picked up off of my bait digger who I normally get it off of if I don't go myself um, oh, look at these look big chunky fat black lug absolutely lovely worms monstrous probably too big for what we need but look at that look. what a worm nice and black nice and chunky alright there's a couple there a bit smaller but I don't mind it I really don't I just actually picked up 37 score off of him because um, the remainder will be going to Medway Tackle tomorrow morning. Because um, that's how we do it. Anyway, happy Friday. Cheers all. Um, I've, I've put up a video before I left tonight of me out in the sib with the, with the uh, well, not with the kids, but while I was mucking about with the kids. That sounded weird, didn't it? Not while I was mucking about with the kids. While I was taking... Oh, no. I'll just stop. Um basically begging for more subs because I want to my 10k subs um, I think our, our last look I got about I don't know 52 I need to get before I'm there so hopefully by the time I put this video out I'll probably put this one up Sunday hopefully I'll be there but who knows who knows we'll have to wait and see um, sorry I had a mouthful of coke that sounded bad too um, so yeah I'm going to set the other one up in a minute Hopefully, we'll see a soul. I, I'm, like I say, I'm pretty certain there's going to be white, especially after dark. We're fishing low water, actually, tonight, because the tides are wrong to fish high water. I don't want to be out all night. I've got plans tomorrow. Um, so, low water is uh, 20 to 10. So, we're going to fish it down a couple of hours, and then um, and then up on the flood a couple of hours. I reckon that if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen after the turn of the tide on the flood. So, we finish this bit of ebb out. I don't know if there's going to be anything, but... I'm here, I'm out, fresh air. I'm with my pal Westy, um, who's behind me actually. It, it is a bit of a southwesterly blow as you can see, but I've got the bivy up. I'm hoping that no one's, uh, I'm hoping that there's not too much wind noise. Um, I'll just show you my little home from home. Sorry about the wind, that's what we're dealing with. There's Mr. West, looks like the Hair Bear Bunch. And there's my little home from home. Happy days. I am in need of a new shelter, this old girl. She's been with me for Oh, a long time and out of all the shelters I've had excuse me <coughs> um, out of all the shelters I've had I've had the igloos I had a diver one once the Ron Thompson original beach buddy in my mind is the best you can get it's nice and light it goes up within fur even in wind like this I just undo it because you just grab the two poles undo it literally it folds out job done and if you do it into the wind so that the wind blows it out for you and makes it all nice, hold it really tight, turn it around, stuff it on the floor and chuck a load of stones around it, she's lovely. But, I don't know if you pick the camera or pick it up, I'm losing, it. I'm getting daylight come through. It's not ripped, but it lets the water through. It keeps the wind off still, but it lets a bit of water through, so I think it's time for a new one. Um, I won't buy a new one, I'll get another second hand one, I'll get one of these, because I love them. I don't think you can beat these, these beach buddies, and I don't think you can buy them new anymore. If anybody knows where I can buy them new, Please let me know in the comments because I'd like to buy a brand new one because I've never had a brand new beach buddy, never. And I've still got to get another cut for my tripod. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys to it um, and I will bring you back when there's something to bring you back for, in a bit. Right, people, I'll just pull you back just to show, I've just reeled in. First chuck, nothing there. 
this wheel didn't show me rig of choice for scratching so I'm using a loop rig now if you've been watching my videos you would have seen the loop rig before because this is all I really use so bottom of the rig obviously you've got lead I'm using a six ounce tonight um, down to an imp which is there bead swivel bead crimp holds the bottom snood and then the bottom snood's got a, a cascade swivel what they call a cascade hang on let me just clean the lens on my phone because it's not focusing hopefully that's better sorry down to a cascade swivel which is one of them with a little clip on it to the top hook and then obviously the top hook goes up to the top of the rig which is up there um, which you can see and then a swivel on the top so when it breaks down and it's the ground the water pushes up underneath the imp right, so lifts it off and obviously with the pressure of the water they do come unclipped and then you've got your lead there you've got your lead there one fishing on the bottom one fishing just above um, obviously they're both on the bottom but this one is pinned to the bottom um, and that is my go-to rig for absolutely everything really um, I, I, I will use it with bigger rocks for cod or rays or whatever um, obviously nine times out of ten when I'm using bigger rig fishing for bigger bigger species such as cod sorry I'm just clipping this back up such as cod and bass and rays and whatever else I fish for which is mainly dogfish and whiting as you well know um, it's a drop it's a, a pulley dropper which I've got some made up but I'm, I'm probably probably not going to use them tonight I'm going to have a go at live baiting and give that a really good go and see how it goes. But anyway, I'm going to get this one cast back out into that raging surf and I will... Oh, Wesley just called me over and look what he found. He had another tripod bar, so I've got two cups again. He's an absolute legend. What a friend. Anyway, in a bit. Well, there we are. Friday the 13th strikes. Just been to the chip shop and got some chips and a sausage. And because I'm a fussy git, the chip shop I went to do posh sausages, as I call them, Cumberland sausages, and I can't stand them. So I had chips. And then I come back, eat my chips, reel my rod in, nice new bait on, cast out, snap. Oh. It's days like this when I just think I can't be bothered. I just can't be. To be honest, if Westy weren't with me, I'd have just packed up and gone home. Because I can't be asked. All right, I'll bring you back. Oh, well, I haven't blanked, guys. I sat here for about 45 minutes, not fishing. Couldn't be bothered. I was well done with it, as the kids would say. Uh, and I just cast out. I thought, oh, why not? Cast out. Tiny little bite. Knew it was a whiting. And there we go. Perfectly hooked in the tail. Can't even catch him in the mouth. And I also brought up my rig that I cast out and snapped off, which is there. You just see the big bunch of line laying on the floor. So I've got my rig back as well. No fish on that one though. I'm gonna get this on hook, gang it back, whack a couple more worms on and get it back out there. There's still hope yet, I suppose. Just when it's all looking bleak, Mr. Seaglow comes forth with a whiting. And on the bottom hook, come whack, you tell us all about it, mate. Nice little sole. Stay still, here we go. Target achieved. Don't want to stay still though. Don't want to stay still, no. There you go. Happy days, well done mate. Size 6, match and scratch hooks. Size 6, match and scratch hooks. Now let's have a little look at how big these little match and scratch hooks are. It'll probably be easier to unhook it from the whiting because that sole probably is eating it. So this is, oh that's proper twisted you up. Oh where's it gone? So these are the new hooks in my axe range from Sea Gloat. You can get baby ones for baby fish. The size of it's tiny. Um, that sole really twisted that rig up, didn't it? What rig are you using, Mike? A free hooker. Oh, it's got not an epic. Oh, Mike, Mike's cheating, he's using free hooks. Therefore, he forfeits. And that's someone who memory free snood line. Well, trying. <laughs> Loads of, oh look at what's Mike put in his box. Don't look in there. Mike's box is, hang on. Look at this little setup he's got, look, it's like a little one, he's got a little table and everything. Yeah, look at stuff he's prob here, He's yeah. probably got a kettle somewhere and all, and a kitchen sink and all that. Um, oh, these are the new mass and scratch hooks, look, from Seagler. Look at these bad boys. They're size fours. They're like roach hooks. And then, what else? Jesus Christ, look at that in there, look. Oh, there you go, you can see the hook. Look at that. 
Oh, it is look nice. See, look. Right there. Happy days. Stick it in your finger, Mike. Try to pick where sharp it is. <laughs> wow. Look at all this, look. It's even got colder making uh, sea glow stuff there, look. He's got way too much stuff in here. Got hydraulic arms, look, on his box. Oh, I'm not sure what that's about. Right, I'm gonna go back over there and continue to catch whiting. Well done, Mike. About time he catches a fish. God, Reese has had a nice little bass. Finally, that's something we're talking about, people. Not a bad little fish. I would, uh, I'd measure it on my box, but Mike hasn't got me a match measure yet. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna give that, I don't know, what do you reckon, Mike? 12 pound? <laughs> yeah? It's got to be over, I reckon about 40, isn't it? Maybe a bit more. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you will. I'll give that a good 18 inches. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it's, it's probably nearly sizable, but he's going back anyway. Yeah, nice one. Right, boys, in a bit. Well, no sooner to be over the bass, baited up, chucked out, snapped off again. Bollocks to it. I'm going home. See you on the next one, in a bit.